Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, and this time we are looking into the next evolution campaign box and the heroes that come in it. And the next evolution will be released uh, in just a few moments all over. So I got an advanced copy, so I decided to. Uh, showcase the heroes that come in this box so we have domino and cable and in this video i will be looking into the cards that come in the cable deck so without further delay let's get started okay so cable comes with a pre-built um, leadership deck but there are a couple of different aspect cards in, in the deck, but we'll get into those when we get there. But first up, let's start with the hero card. So, Cable's alter ego is Nathan Summers. And Nathan Summers has 4 recovery, mutant and soldier traded. You may include player side streams from any aspect in your deck. So, surprise, there are a protection and a aggression side scheme in the deck also. Soldier X setup. Search your deck and discard pile for a player side scheme and put it in play shuffle. And hand size is 6, hit points 12. And on the hero side, Cable has a straight a stat line of 2 2 2, so 2 for 2 attack and 2 defense. Soldier and axe force traded. Response after cable defeats a side scheme, ready him, limit once per phase. Hand size is 5 and hit points is 12 on the hero side. Okay, well, uh, nothing that special, so let's get into the aspect or, or the hero specific cards. First, we have body slide. Uh, it is a zero cost event and action change form. Each other player may change to the form you are in. And this can be committed as an uh, energy resource. So basically, you can, as a playing this card, change to hero mode or alter ego mode and still have the once per turn ability to turn back so you can be in hero mode play this go to alter ego mode and do stuff there and come back to hero mode and continue playing hero cards etc so really really interesting card unlock uh, i i would have wanted to see two copies of this maybe in the deck one of is a bit of a like you can't rely on it but still a cool card Next up we have Mind Scan, and there are three copies of this. So Mind Scan is a two cost event, Psionic, Superpower and Thwart traded. Hero Action, Thwart, remove three threats from a scheme, remove one additional threat from that scheme for each side scheme in victory scheme. So this gets more powerful during the gameplay if you uh, get player side schemes into the victory display or other side schemes that go into the victory display. So this is a really, really good card. It gets better while the game goes on. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Next we have Precognition. One copy of this. So Precognition is a zero cost event. Psionic superpower traded. Hero action. Look at the top X cards of the encounter deck where X is the number of side schemes in the victory display. You may discard one of those cards. Put the rest back in any order. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Again, uh, the longer the game has gone on, the better this will be. I'm seeing a pattern here. So, next up we have a Telekinetic Blast. Two copies of this. So, it is a three cost event attack, psionic and superpower traded. Hero action attack deal six damage to an enemy, deal one additional damage to that enemy for each side scheme in victory display. Again, the more you have uh, side schemes in the victory display, the better this is. So, could be potentially 10 damage if you have all the, uh, or 
11 damage or 3 if you have 5 side skins for example one from each aspect and the basic okay well that's that seems like a good one and of course cable wouldn't be cable without his own player side scheme so technovirus purge player side skin victory zero characters other than cable cannot remove threat from technovirus purge while technovirus purge is in the victory display nathan summers and cable gain the psionic and Cable gets plus one for plus one attack and plus one defense and this comes into play with five threat and can be committed as a energy resource so a really powerful card and it costs zero to play on boot so you will definitely want to get this this into the victory display as fast as possible next we have a gray malkin a gray malkin is a two cost support location Traded uh, response after side scheme is defeated. Ready, Grey Malkin resource exhaust. Grey Malkin generate a energy resource, and this can be committed as an energy resource. And uh, even though it's, it, it is a support, you can use this in any any form, so that's good. Uh, professor. So Professor is a one cost support persona tech traded. Alter Ego Action, Exhaust Professor, choose to either draw one card or search your deck and discard pile for a player side scheme and add it to your hand, shuffle, and this can be committed as a mental, mental resource. Okay. Next up, Ascan is Sun. So it is a one cost upgrade and title traded hero response for after you defend against an enemy attack, exhaust Ascanis Son and Ascanis Son, how do you pronounce that even? And spend an energy resource. Remove threat from a scheme equal to your hero support, and this can be committed as a wild card. Okay. And forced amnesia is next, and one copy of this. It is a one cost upgrade, psionic and superpower traded. Hero response after a non-permanent side scheme is defeated. Add forced amnesia and that side scheme to the victor display. <laughs> so another way to get a uh, side scheme into the victor display. Okay, this is this is really really good. I uh, this this reminds me of one card in Arkham Horror, which is the uh, uh, William Yorick's. Uh, signature card bury them deep so that lets you put uh, any enemy or yeah basically if you kill an enemy you can put that into the victory display even though that enemy doesn't have victory and it will net you one victory point at the end of the game so so really good uh, card as it seems so uh, and this can be committed as a mental resource next up we have plasma rifle so plasma rifle is a two cost upgrade tech and weapon traded restricted hero action attack exhaust plasma rifle and spend an energy resource deal one damage to an enemy for each side scheme in the victory display to a maximum of four this attack gains ranged and this can be committed as a physical resource next we have telekinetic force field so it is a two cost upgrade, Psyonic and Superpower traded, hero only, hero interrupt when a friendly character would take any amount of damage, discard telekinetic force field, prevent all of that damage. And this can be committed as a physical resource. And lastly, in the cable set we have a Temporal Leap, which is a two cost upgrade, tactic traded, hero interrupt when the main scheme would be completed. Remove this card from the game and put a side scheme from the victory display into play. Move four threat from the main scheme to that side scheme, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So a really powerful card. You lose one uh, victory um, side scheme, but uh, for example, if it's the last main scheme and it uh, would cost you to lose the game, this can stop the, it. So a really powerful card. Then we have the leadership and other 
aspect cards go to. Uh, first off, we have a new leadership ally, Caliban. So Caliban is a 3 cost ally with 1 fort and 2 attack. Zionic get an extra force traded. 3 hit points. Response after Caliban enters play. Discard cards from the top of your deck until after X Factor or X Force or X Men ally is discarded. Add that ally to your hand. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Okay. Next we have Phantom X. So Phantom X is a focused ally with one fort and one attack. Psionic and Max Force traded, three hit points. Response after Phantom X enters play, search your deck and discard pile for an EVA and put it into play. Shuffle. Okay, and I don't know what an EVA is um, we will probably find out later and um, it can be committed as an energy resource sunspot is next so it is a three cost ally one for and two attack aerial and export traded two hit points response after you play sunspot from your hand choose a player deal one damage to the villain and each minion with the chosen player for each energy resource used to play for sunspot and it can be committed as an energy resource okay next we have mission planning three copies of this so mission planning is a two cost event play only if there is a side scheme in the victory display hero action until the end of the phase allies you control do not take consequential damage okay well, that's that's interesting. Okay, next we have the leadership player side scheme, which is call for backup. It is a one cost one cost uh, card. Uh, victory zero when defeated. Each player may search their deck and discard pile for an ally and put it into play. Shuffle and comes into play with three uh, threat per player and can com be committed as a energy, uh, I mean mental resource. Then we have the aggression side scheme. It is lock and load and costs one. Uh, victory zero when defeated. Each player may search their deck and discard power for weapon upgrade with the cost three or less and put it into play. Shuffle and comes into play to threat per player and can be committed as a physical resource. Next the protection side scheme establish perimeter and it costs one uh, victory zero when defeated give its identity a tough status card comes into play with two threat per player and can be committed as an energy resource and uh, we already talked about the EVA so here it is it is a zero cost support vehicle in Phantom X is not in play, discard EVA, action, exhaust EVA, choose, remove one threat from a scheme, deal one damage to an enemy, or heal one damage from a Phantom X, and this can be committed as an energy uh, wild resource. Then we have the Uncanny Axe Force, and there are three copies of this. So the Uncanny Axe Force is a two cost support. Team traded, play under any player's control, max one team card per player. If each of your characters has the X Force trait, each ally you control gets plus one fourth and takes minus one consequential damage after thwarting a side scheme. And this can be committed as an energy resource. Last um, leadership card is the mission leader. So the mission leader is a two cost upgrade with the title trait. Reduce the cost to play mission leader by one if your identity has the soldier trait. Hero response after a side scheme is defeated, exhaust mission leader. Each player draws one card and this can be committed as a physical resource. So we still have the basic cards to go through and Next up, one of my uh, favorite characters in Marvel, Deadpool, a fan favorite for sure. So Deadpool is a 3 cost ally with 2 thwart and 2 attack mercenary and Axe Force traded with 3 hit points. 
Force interrupt when Deadpool would be defeated by consequential damage, deal 3 damage from him instead, add an acceleration token to main skill. And this can be committed as a wild resource. So, a uh, definite late game card, so you can just uh, keep Deadpool ar around hitting the villain or uh, whatever and uh, risk. Risk catching acceleration tokens, but I think uh, Cable's uh, threat removal is adequate to have Deadpool in the deck, so we'll see when I get to play uh, Cable. Next, we have Deadlock. Deadlock is a focused ally with two four and two attack. Cyber and Max frustrated with three hit points. Hero response after Deadlock enters play, choose an upgrade in any player's discard pile with a cost of one or less. That can be attached to deadlock. Attach that upgrade to deadlock. And this can be committed as a physical resource. Okay. Then we have Frenemies. Frenemies is a one cost event. For team up, Cable and Deadpool, max one per deck. So I think that is uh, Deadpool confirmed as a hero later on. That's exciting. Uh, hero action toward deal one damage to each of the cable and dead to each <laughs> deal one damage each to cable and dead pool. Remove three threat from a scheme and add and three threat from a different scheme. I've lost the ability to read apparently, and this can be committed as a wild icon or resource. Okay, then we have build support. So build support is a one cost player side scheme from basics and uh, victory zero when defeated each player may search their deck and discard pile of support with the cost of three or less and put it into play and this can be seen to play with three trap player and can be committed as a mental resource. Then we have the power of the mind. Not sure if we already seen this, but the power of the mind is a double is a resource card with double the number of resources this card generates while playing for a psionic card. I think this may have been already added in uh, uh, Phoenix, but can't remember. And this can be committed as a mental resource. Then we have Scimitar. It is a two cost upgrade psionic weapon traded. Restricted hero response attack after you play another psionic card. Exalt scimitar, deal two damage to an enemy, and this can be committed as an energy resource. Then we have three copies of sidearm. It is a one cost upgrade weapon attached to an ally, max one per ally. Attached ally gets plus one attack, and its attacks gain ranged, and this can be committed as a physical resource. And those were all the cores that come in the Cable's deck, but lastly we look at the application Nemesis sets for Cable. So the application is uh, Technovirus Resurgence. Uh, it reads, give to the Nathan Summers player, when revealed, search your deck, discard pile, hand and victor display for Technovirus purge and put it into play. Shuffle, attach this card to the to Technovirus Purge. If you cannot, discard this card and deal yourself one face down to counter card. This has an acceleration icon and has two boost items. So, a really nasty looking application. Then uh, we have the Nemesis set, which starts with Strife. Strife is a minion with two scheme and two attack, mutant liberation front, and psionic traded. 5 hit points. Villainous. Force interrupt when a player plays a psionic event. Cancel the effects of that event and deal 1 damage to strife. And it has 3 boost icons. So look, a nasty looking minion. Next we have the Nemesis side scheme which is back to the future. The capable player cannot remove threat from schemes other than back to the future. Other players cannot remove threat from back to the future. The cable player cannot really damage enemies not engaged with them. Other players cannot damage minions engaged with the cable player. And it has 4 threat on it. 
and two boost icons. So a really thematic uh, side scheme. So Cable basically uh, teleports back to the future where he came from. And nobody can help him while he's there. Then we have uh, Telekinetic Force Field. It is an attachment, psionic traded, attached to Strife, otherwise attached to the villain. Force interrupt when attached character would take any amount of damage, prevent that damage if two or more damage was prevented. This way, discard this card. Attach this card to the activating enemy. Okay. And it has a, a boost effect and a boost icon. Next we have a mind scan, so it is a treachery, psionic trait that when revealed, place two threat on the main scheme, place one additional threat on the main scheme for each side scheme in the victory display. And it has a boost um, ability, so boost ability is you are confused. Okay. Last card is the telekinetic blast, it is a treachery, psionic trait that when revealed, take two damage. Take one additional damage for each side scheme in the victory display. Ouch! And uh, it is a, has a boost uh, effect. So boost effect is you are stunned. Okay. Well, I see what they are trying to do with cable. So I'm really interested in getting to play cable. And uh, yeah, I think I will play the next evolution box through uh, with Domino and Cable with alteration so I will start with one of the heroes for the first scenario then play this other hero for the second etc so alternating between Domino and Cable to showcase those and of course showcase the new scenarios coming in the box later on but this is uh, all I wanted to uh, say and talk about in this hero pack overview so hope you guys like this hero pack focus thanks for watching and until next time